Hi, it's Peter from Zip Media here in Weymouth. I just thought I'd take you along on another one of my uh, local walks. It's a walk I discovered uh, maybe a week ago and it goes way out into the country so I hope you enjoy it. So I'll just show you where the walk starts from, the garage on Dorchester Road here and that is the signpost public footpath ready pole three quarters of a mile so let's turn and let's go as I say I uh, came down this walk a week or so ago and discovered a building on the right hand side there and I put a, a question out who actually owns it now, um, I came back a few days later and discovered it was being taken down and is going to be used in a animal sanctuary on Portland. Let's see what kind of job they've done of removing it. I'll see if I can insert a picture here um, about the building that was there. Ah, it's still there, only they're still taking it down. There we go. Let's go and have a look inside. They are still taking it down and as I say it's going to be moved to a animal sanctuary on Portland. It would have made a great little creative studio this place but uh, it wasn't to be. There we are. So let's finish here and continue the walk. It's a nice big building that. Beautiful big building. So we're walking into the country now, which is something not many people see because they always seem to be driving past and um, don't see the country. I guess their eyes are concentrating on doing the driving, but uh, this is a nice little country walk. It's very quiet out here, all you can hear are the crows no traffic at all um, it's lovely the last time I came down it was a really warm day it's a little breezy now but I hope that doesn't affect the sound too much we're coming down to a gate now I think the uh, walk turns here to the left we have a group of barns and things on our right so the walk turns to our left it is very quiet and very lovely out here I hope you enjoy these walks uh, I have had a number of emails from people to say they are housebound or they can't get out now and it's nice just to join me here on my walks as some of you may know, I don't drive, never really wanted to, so I walk everywhere and I like discovering these little walks. It's a kind of therapeutic sometimes just to go on a walk. You never know what you're going to discover. So there's a public, public footpath that branches off there on the right. Maybe I'll do that one day on these walks. There is a little green there that goes off into a little housing estate. Lovely. Back onto the walk. Yes, 
yeah, I think uh, walking like this is very therapeutic. I'll take you as far as I can go today and um, we'll see what I can do on another day. I am actually retired now from the local Wilco store. I retired in December of 2022 on my birthday, on my 66th birthday. So now I have plenty of time to do this kind of thing and I really enjoy it. Bringing these scenes to you, maybe you wouldn't see otherwise. It is very quiet out here. That's why I love it. Away from the traffic noise and the mayhem of normal life. This is something we come to. These large boulders here on the left hand side. And the gate is pretty. Nice photo shoot material, I think. Let's go back onto the walk. We keep going up the hill to what looks like a five bar gate. house to our left. Very quiet. I can hear no cars. Nothing. Which is a nice, nice surprise. A freshly built wall on my left. So we'll just get to the top of the hill here and I'll do a, a scan on the countryside. So here's the beautiful scan of the beautiful countryside here in Weymouth, Dorset, UK. And there is the route I've just come up that hill there. So we climb up the uh, up the hill here. If it comes to a dead end, I just turn around and go back. Not a problem. As I say, I've never been this way before, so you are joining me on my first investigation. The uh, private property here, keep out, I don't know who that belongs to. So let us turn to the right and walk along this public footpath here. As you can see, the countryside around me is very beautiful, very green. I think that's probably because of the river way down there. We walk up to the gate and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Squirrel in front of us, look. That's nice to see. And here we are moving forward again. I tend to think people forget we have countryside like this outside Weymouth. There's a big house in the distance there. 
They tend to forget we have scenery like this in the countryside in Weymouth. The Weymouth publicity people seem to concentrate in the uh, hotels and the restaurants and cafes in town. I guess because that's the way they make money. But it is a shame that they don't promote the countryside as well. As I told you before, I don't drive, so getting out in the country is a wonderful experience for me and I think for many others. The camera is a little shaky because I'm just using a tripod as a gimbal and uh, coming down now to the road that you can see in the distance there I think if you want me to do any more of these walks let me know um, and I'll do the one to the river way that I did on my own not on film the last time. Uh, if you like what I do with these videos and my other videos on YouTube, subscribe, which is free. Uh, leave a comment, which is free. Leave a thumbs up. Um, and uh, make sure you hit that little bell icon to make sure you receive notifications on any of the videos that I release. I've been doing YouTube since 2009. Now, where to from here? Shall we go down there, do you think? What does that say on that gate? I don't know. Let's go have a look. Wow, this is very shady, isn't it? It says Borough Engineers Department on the gate. Where do you think this leads? I don't know. Let's go have a look. Yeah, I like exploring places. If somebody said to me, would you like to go into a spooky house? I'd say, yeah, okay. <laughs> or... Uh, investigate something that maybe I shouldn't, I'd say yes, okay, because I enjoy finding out. I'm working on a story where I've uh, discovered a direct link between Upway in Weymouth, the place where I live now, and Star Trek. I think I'll do a video on that too. Weymouth is also connected directly with um, other famous people, yet they're not mentioned in any of the history books. Ah, here we come. Here we come to the road. So, this is a, a short walk. I said, that's always been a pretty house to me. I was brought up and lived in the Peak District for quite a long time and uh, should we go that way or should we go that way? Let's go this way. So uh, the countryside down here is nice. 
But sometimes I miss the hills of Derbyshire. I haven't been up there for quite a long time. I would like to go back to see Buxton to show my wife, Gina, show her around some local haunts, but uh, maybe I'll do that sometime in the future. When we get to the blue sign here, we'll cross over the road and walk past the back of the church here in Redipole in Weymouth. I'll just show you the bypass. It runs past the bottom of my house actually. As you can see, South Hill Town Centre seafront and the footpath on the left hand side. There is the bypass that runs at the bottom of my house. Literally, that takes motorists into Weymouth. Let's cross the road and look at the other side. There are some lovely old houses on the route home. On these walks I like to stay away from the main road as much as I can, but this is a normal way to get home. I think there is a bench on the left hand side here. somewhere so I can sit down and do the uh, outro Yes, it's a, it's a kind of grey day, but it's, it's all right. Good for walking, not too hot, not too cold. I remember the last time I walked down here, I sat on the bench, so it's got to be somewhere around here. And I'll take you through a walk through Radipole Wood as well. I think this is the bench coming up on the left hand side. I hope the uh, wind isn't affecting the microphone too much. This is a quite an old bench actually. Does anybody know why it was put here, this bench? Looks very old. And what was the inscription 
that was in the middle there. If you know, leave a uh, comment under the this video in the comment section and let me know. As we cross over the road here from the bench, which is down there, we uh, continue walking. As I say, look at that beautiful countryside out there. Isn't it exquisite? I happen to think that it's the peace and quiet in the country conflicts so much with traffic down here in the underpass on the uh, the bypass to the house. I'm going to take you now somewhere where there's complete peace. This is the back of Radipo Church. How many of you in Weymouth have got ancestors, relatives buried in this pretty little church? That's what I say, people miss things because they are too busy driving. We are now entering, as you can see we've got some signs there, South Old Town Centre to my left, Redlands, Weymouth, Gateway, Dorchester to my right. So, this is a pretty little area of thick woodland here and I think there should be an entrance on my right to go into the wood. If you walk down to the bottom of this little road here and then turn right, we should be able to enter Radipo Wood. Let's see. Yes, this is uh, a sign by Radipo Wood, Weymouth, 50 years, Civic Society. So let's take a walk in. And you can see at the top there a little bench. I think I took a picture of this the last time I was here. Shared it on my Facebook, but this is actually a video which might last a little longer. So the stone says Weymouth Civic Society 50 years 1944 to 1994. Very nice quiet place to come and have a sit if you disregard the traffic noise. Let's walk to the very end here and finish up the video. It's a lovely little walk. If you just want to clear your head, I think. So actually we've come in a rather large loop.
And I think there's a clearing ahead where there's a bench also. A nice little place to sit and be silent for a little while. Yeah, hopefully I'll add this one to the uh, dry dock playlist as well as the uh, video walks playlist. I'll go, after I get home I'll edit this together and it should be on both those playlists, hopefully. So there's a couple of nice little benches. Let's go and have a look and see what the inscription says on both of them, shall we? This one says, in memory of Andrew Wilson, 1939 to 2015, a much-loved husband, father and grandfather, and a radical wood volunteer. This other one has a plaque on it, I think. Let's see, have a look what this says. Margaret Le Breton, remembered with every flower. That's nice. Let's finish off the walk. Finally. By coming out. Where? I don't know. <laughs> I think we'll be coming out on Mount Pleasant Avenue North. And that's where I'll finish the walk because I live on Mount Pleasant Avenue South which is just across the road. Just a tip, whenever you go on these walks, always remember to close the gates. I guess there are warnings on them, but always remember to close the gates. So, if you enjoy these video walks, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, hit a like, it's all good. So thanks for watching, this has been a very short walk. If you want me to do any longer ones, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.